everybody, it's Kristen. Happy Sunday! Uh, I just decided since um, Bob was Bob has to work today. Um, it is July first, and that is the fiscal year end for his company where he works, um, and he has to be there to do like some inventory stuff and all kinds of stuff. So he has to work today. Um, today is also the one year anniversary of my dad's new church. I don't know if I've mentioned it much before or not, but as a second career, my father was a minister. And he was a minister in the Methodist Church for 13 years. And for the past year, he has been um, the minister of a new community church that was kind of like a church plant kind of thing. You can't, you can't really call it that, but a, a, a lot of people from the community he was serving in started a new church and asked him to become the pastor. It's the very simple version of the story. But anyway, he um, the, today is the one-year celebration, and it's a you know a pretty pretty big deal. So I'm going to go to my dad's church today rather than to our church. Um, if anybody's curious about that, uh, when I met my husband, my father was already a minister, which is actually pretty cool because he married us, which is a really neat thing, something I'm very... Um, well, I will always cherish that because not everybody can have their dad marry them. So anyway, he... Um, had his, he had a couple of churches that he served at the time. Um, my husband grew up Lutheran, and I kind of grew up Methodist, Presbyterian, kind of whichever church fit our family best when we moved someplace. And we just chose to visit a church, find a church together, rather than I join his church and he joined my church. So I do go to an ELCA um, Lutheran church here in town. Um, so yeah, I'm sure that was important to tell you guys. Wow, I'm a little rambly today. Can you tell I've been by myself all morning? So anyway... <clears throat> going to my dad's church today, and I thought I would show you what share what I was wearing. Um, quick face of the day. I tried again the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus, thinking because it's been pretty humid, if it's ever going to work for me, it would work on a day like this, and it just doesn't work for me. I don't I don't like it at all. So I'm done trying. <laughs> done. So I'm going to find a friend to give that to or something. Um, great product. I think if you have oily skin, I just don't. And then on my cheeks today, I use a combination of this. Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush and Flushed. It's this color right here. And then, I don't know, I 90% I, I, of the time I set, set a cream blush no matter what. So I set it with um, Pink Swoon, which is right here for MAC. On my eyes today, I have the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. Just one of my absolute favorites. And on my lips today, this is a big shocker. Well, I did change up my lip liner. I have Half Red from MAC, which is one of my favorite lip liners to wear with uh, Viva Glam 5. And a couple of people have noticed, myself included now, once they told me about it, that Whisper is pretty darn close to Viva Glam 5, which is no shock. It's, Viva Glam 5 is one of the few lipsticks I have repurchased in my lifetime. Um, and so this is Whisper. You guys are probably sick of seeing, but it just adds a little bit of a different dimension to Whisper with a little bit of a darker liner. Um, jewelry, I just have some gold hoops, and I'll show you this when I back up. On my nails, I have um, Catrice Welcome to Rosywood. I tweeted a picture out oh, and Instagram a picture yesterday. Pretty sure it's more of a um, fall color, but I don't know. I wanted to try it, so I did. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to back up. I'm trying to, I'll just. Okay, so this is a dress that I had shown that I picked up at the Gap outlet. And it's just a real summery light cotton dress. Um, and you can, it does have sleeves on it like this. But I just, generally in a building I get chilly. So, you just see here. Ay, ay, ay. I, um, because I'm using the camera instead of my phone, not sure exactly where to put everything, but um, so on my feet I just have some T-strap white sandals, nothing very exciting. I know I should probably be wearing wedges, and it wouldn't be very impressed with me, but <laughs> I didn't have wedges that I felt like really went with this. So, um, and then I just put this gold long necklace on, and this is a shrug that while it is uh, quite a few sizes bigger than what I wear right now. I love the color of it. I love this color with 
period, and I like it with my eyes. And I didn't feel like it looked too bad. I, I think it hangs okay with this dress. So this is what the necklace looks like. And then I have just this ring. It's just costume jewelry. I have no idea where I got it. I don't remember. On this hand, oh, I don't have my wedding ring on. <clears throat> I will have my wedding ring on, I swear. Um, and then I have my pearl ring also. Sheesh. Bob would not be impressed. <laughs> don't worry, I won't leave. I never leave home without it. If I pull out of the garage, usually I'll see if I've forgotten to put it back on. Um, and I will pull back in and go put it on. Otherwise, I tell Bob I'm single. <laughs> Um, and then the fragrance I'm wearing today is Marc Jacobs oh so Fre Daisy oh so Fresh. I really like this one as well, as you can see. I'm just about out of my Marc Jacobs Daisy. Um, but I like both of them for summer. I like the regular Daisy for fall, winter too, but anyway. Okay, so this is way longer than I intended it to be, but, you know, I just wanted to talk to you guys. So I hope that you had a good weekend. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video yesterday. I'm so sorry for whatever was going on in my tooth. I mean, seriously, Kristen. But I had already put all this stuff away and I thought I just was going to share it with you. And so I had asked Melissa, I'm like, if you realized that you did this on the video, would you put it up anyway? She's like, yeah, I'd put it up anyway. <laughs> so I did. Um, anyway, I hope that you guys have a great Sunday. I hope that it's becoming cool where you are. Um, if you are in some of the places hit by the storm, I hope that cleanup is going well and, and that everybody that you... Um, love and care about a safe and sound and also with the with those horrible fires in Colorado so my brother lives in Colorado and I haven't heard from him lately but he lives in Denver and I'm fairly certain that they are not near Denver but all right I'm rambling so I'll talk to you guys very soon thanks for watching bye